Well, hello, Capricorns. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your general energy reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising Capricorns, April 2019. General energy readings will not be spot on nor resonate with everyone every time. This reading is about the energy around you. You can either be giving or receiving this energy. And we will be using Soul Tree's Oracle Cards and the Tarot del Fuego. All right, positive insight for Capricorns for April 2019. And I do apologize that I did not get your November out. But, excuse me, oh my God, I can't even speak. Your March out, but we're gonna move forward and get your April video out for you now. What is the energy around Capricorns for April? Energy around Capricorns. Ooh, you guys got two. Scorpio, I believe, got two as well. What is your the energy around finances for Capricorns? And the energy around relationships for Capricorns. Allow, truth, awakening, and purpose. Okay, so I want to say I have got truth and allow for some other signs. Definitely want to check out your moon and rising sign. If you don't know what that is, look under my how-to videos to gather information. So allow and truth, allowing that truth to come to you. You know, it feels like overall there is some sort of awakening for what your purpose is and that that is happening for you in April. So that's an amazing place to be. But this is the thing about awakenings. Please keep in mind, awakenings aren't always easy. Have you ever heard about a Kundalini awakening? So Kundalini when your kundalini awakes and rises, it has to filter out all the crap before all of the beauty can take over. And that's what truth is. It feels like that's what the truth is. Allowing truth, allowing yourself, Capricorn, to truly see the truth about you and what you need to do to be the best version of you. What you've stuck in your shadow side that you need to now look at acknowledge and release those things all happen during the awakening so a card for allow please card for truth please card for awakening Three cards, please. Purpose. Information on purpose for our Capricorns. All right, so we have the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Queen, of course, of Pentacles is going to be representing the Earth sign energy here. But for me, seeing the King is definitely relating with the truth, like, truth here. It's time to take off your mask and really, 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 truly see things for the way that they need to be. And the Four of Swords, what it's telling me is you need time to allot, allot this here. So this king, he has the sword going through him. He has stabbed himself with the sword. I honestly, I feel like April for you guys, that the energy around you is telling you to take a look at how you're treating yourself. 
Are you treating yourself with the complete kindness that you need to be? Are you focusing on what you haven't accomplished instead of what you have accomplished? Are you not seeing what you should be prioritizing to accomplish here? It does feel like that you are ask, being asked to see the brutal truth, not only in yourself, but in others. And needing to decide, am I going to accept them for exactly who they are and move forward with them? Or if I'm going to accept them for who they are and move forward without them? Yep. So we have the full, <clears throat> excuse me, the seven of pentacles and the chariot. Are you using your best way of thinking to accomplish things? Because the seven of pentacles is about putting work in and that's what awakening does you have to put the work in to see what's been holding you back. You're waking up to what's been holding you back, acknowledging it, processing it, and finding your balance within here. You know, I'm hearing the, the look before you leap with, which is, um, tied into the full, you know, he's could be stepping off of the edge here without looking to see where he's actually going and his guide, his dog, his guide, his bear guide here, nipping at his heel saying, wait, 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 wait. I need you to look. I need you to look before you leap. And then we have purpose. The four of cups, the world and judgment. A lot about balance here. The chariot and judgment together are both speaking about finding that true balance. You know, it, with relationship wise, as far as purpose goes, I'm going straight to your relationship with your guardian, your guardian angels, your spirit guides, whatever source or deity you believe in here, you know, <sighs> to really look at your spiritual connection here, seeing the whole picture. I mean, we have two fours. So I just, I want to know why you're holding yourself back, why you're allowing past mistakes to hold you back. Those were learning opportunities. You've learned something from these mistakes. And so now all you can do is move forward. Send it love. Work with that energy by acknowledging it. I am grateful for the mistakes that I made because I am grateful for the lessons I have learned. And now I can move forward and be a better version of myself. I am the kind and generous and loving queen of pinnacles energy and that's who I really want to be did you get away from that energy because you're being called back you know for some of you it just it feels like this is such a big picture here and that you, you are judging yourselves, but then there's others judging you. And that's not your purpose. Your purpose is you and your growth and your development. You have no control over the way somebody else thinks. Only yourself. So thinking positive about yourself, changing that energy, and it leaks over into the others. And the people that matter will see your changes. You are just waking up here financially around work. This feels, I mean, I felt work a lot with the signs this time around. You know, I, I think it, honestly, it feels like it's because of what happened during Mercury retrograde, how everything was just crazy. It, you know, you may have jumped into something that you were not expecting at all. You did not really realize it. And 
and you aren't seeing, it's like you just keep thinking about all the things you didn't accomplish. But now you're going to start seeing all the things you did accomplish, how they're paying off. How this hard work it, that you put in that you just did, did not, you weren't reaping what you were sowing and it's like finally, it's finally growing. You're finally going to be able to go and harvest what you have sown. It just feels like it's time to relax a little bit here. Because your hard work is going to finally, you're finally going to see the payoff, the payoff, the payoff. So things will come into light here for relationship wise. You know, it just keeps on rolling. That's what the world does. It just keeps on rolling as the world turns and all. But it feels like you're moving into this chapter, into a new chapter. Very well could be a Libra involved, could be a Cancer involved, could be another Earth sign. We, then we have the Swords, that's Libra as well. Could be um, uh, Gemini, Aquarius. Feels like there's a lot of personalities involved here. But it feels like the hard work you've put in and the people who have put it in with you, that it will pay off. You weren't, I don't know, it just feels like you were blindsided here by what you went into. And you had to put in a lot more work than you originally had thought was going to be put in. But it just, it feels like it's going to pay off here. And that it's time for you to relax. You know, it's like you've been under all this stress. And it's time for you to say, fuck that shit and just be your calm, cool, collected, relaxed self. As an earth sign, you are steady. And things feel as though that it wasn't necessarily steady, but it's moving back into this sort of steadiness. You are allowing the truth to show. You're awakening to the truth around you. And now it's just time to take care of business. I don't feel like you're finished completely, you know, you're not ready to necessarily harvest completely, but I think you can see that the harvest date is coming here. This is the thing is once you've, you know, once you reap what you sow, it's going to be time to burn the old crops and replow the field again. So getting this break in now to enjoy the payoff of what you've worked to because more is coming more is on the way but right now it's, it's about relaxing and really just kind of letting everything work itself out while you take care of yourself while you replenish and move forward Capricorns, be sure to show me some love with a thumbs up on this video. And if you aren't already subscribing, please be sure to click that subscribe link. Thank you so much for your shares and your positive comments. Here's some additional um, content as well. If you are interested in checking out more, please, please come and watch this more during the month a couple more times because you may receive more messages from your guides. Um, from watching the videos because this is for the whole month of April and as always I appreciate you